Hey there. How you doing? More, more and more of these videos on um, the election and how it is going to affect us. This time I'm going to look into the timeline in the future. Thank you for coming by. My name is, excuse me, Diane. This is Artsy Wisdom. I'm back um, trying to maintain normalcy. What I did realize too when I was journaling earlier today is that we all can't go anywhere. This community is necessary. We all are part of the big um, light. We're all connected, obviously, to everybody. All Americans are connected. All worldly people. Every soul is connected. On a, we're all fractions of light. But I can't go anywhere. We all need to support each other because we're in this for the long haul. It doesn't mean we're going to have some bad days, but we'll also have really good days. And we all want to support each other um, as we manage, as we negotiate, as we navigate. And I do think uh, we need to stay positive at the same time, find our inner fight. It's okay to be angry at this point. I'm angry. I may not seem like it. My last video was fake, but I'm angry. I'm angry, but it doesn't serve a purpose at the moment. There's lots of times when I imagine a baseball bat hitting an orange ball that might go somewhere that is attached to somebody else. Do you know what I mean? I love that image. It doesn't serve anything, but I love it. <laughs> That's the dark side of artsy wisdom, just so you guys see it. Anyway, so let's look i wanted to get into um trump's health i still feel like he is something is happening and i wanted to look into people around him so i'm going to get into his energy and see how everybody's going i've already kind of done that a little bit i'm going to share with you what i got um and then i also wanted to see in the next couple months what we can expect you know these are my visions these are my images these are what i decipher and as we've said, these have not been as accurate as we would have liked. I think part of that is because I can't imagine. The people who voted for Harris, I think, go, yeah, it's totally logical. Why would anybody vote for Donald Trump? But we are in this energy, and it doesn't make sense that somebody vote for him. So when we see a vision or we see an image or we sense something, it's logical that it goes to her. Because how could it go to him? But we are not the people, we don't live in that place. And it's hard to imagine that somebody would. So we're fallible, psychics, intuitive. I don't know if I'm a psychic. I think I'm just a creative, intuitive. But an astrologer, a hypnotherapist, and I love the subconscious. And, but an energy worker, I probably am doing that too. But I do feel that that is part of the reason it is it was hard to imagine or it was hard to feel that hopelessness that the Trump voters had because regardless of how hope that was those of us left leaning democratic felt he was very dangerous he still is very dangerous but we couldn't imagine so i think that was part of the the feeling is that I got or that was try of the awareness that I got about why I still have some images I'm going to share with you about this valley that I've seen and trying to decipher that and what came to me now and I also going to like I said get into Trump's health and the timeline and anybody around him Vance what's he's going to be doing Musk and how he's going to be um in the administration and rfk jr the worm head guy bear eater or bear picker upper and um yeah but we need to stick together guys all right let's get going so the image i wanted to share with you in the past i've seen this large valley and this valley was full of lights when i first started seeing it. and they were all going up into the sky and um, I felt like we were connecting to God and he was, they were, we were all being connected. So this light was diffused all over this valley and we were creating our reality. 
over time, layers of this kind of necrotic tissue was on top and we were all tunneling underneath and eventually that healed. But later I saw all of the sea of odors on this one side of the valley. And actually it was more like three quarters of the valley, but it was like ant size, like millions and millions of people, very tiny, a sea of them. But on my right side, I saw the orange Donnie over here and he was in his baby balloon, you know, that baby balloon and he's floating above and the Republican um, machine was large, noisy, red, um, banging drums and pots and pans and yelling, but they were bigger, kind of this oddball, but they were narrower. They were taller and we were all a sea of these tiny ants all over here. And how I interpreted that, it was like, oh, this sea is pushing these away, pushing these Republicans. And I see him getting smaller and smaller eventually. And our sea went down this hill, like over like a waterfall to the left. I interpreted that as uh, a wave or, you know, a movement with sea of, of blue that was going to travel through the election. That's how I interpreted it. I also saw Harris as these the roasted vegetables that I've always seen her as. And I know now, then I saw her super crispy and caramelized. And I was like, they were like almost burnt. But I thought, okay, maybe she's just getting hardened for the election and she needs to be more structured and have strength. And um, But at the time, this goes back to not wanting to see what you see, that I saw her getting crispy and hard and I didn't feel good about it. I thought she's drying up and it's getting smaller and smaller. You know, when you overcook vegetables, they get smaller and smaller. And, but I didn't want to believe that was true. So back to the point, if I see something, I need to say it. In my last video, I talked about cheating and it may not be popular, but I, I'll tell you, you go back and watch it and uh, cheating in the voting. But I do feel that that she was actually shrinking up, drying up. And I didn't interpret it that way. But the sea of voters did go that way, go through this archway of the election. So we did have some, or we did have them, but maybe I interpreted that as, um, yes, there was a big turnout, but not enough. You know, not enough. Meanwhile, we got the red and the loud and the pots and pans in the street and banging the drums. And this, and it's kind of inflated. It's like if you took a big giant red, you know, like one of those uh, things, you know, they fill up the those tubes and they put them in front of businesses and they flop around, you know, their arms are waving and this air is blowing up all the time and the little head. It was like that, except... The head, it wasn't as floppy, but they were tall and full of air and red and like inflatable things. And Donnie's up here and they're very tall. Uh, and these little ants, us, the rest of us, can't, were more, but they were taller and bigger and louder. And it reminded me of Ted Cruz because I did, so... So what I thought was they got taller and bigger in power and money. That's what that is. It's power and money and taller and bigger. So the people aren't as much. This is how I saw this. It's more of the power and money that made them big and loud and boisterous and powerful. But we're little peons over here couldn't beat that, right? We couldn't win. It's very similar to Colin Allred and Ted Cruz. I saw Texas. I saw Ted Cruz here. I saw all this money. He's surrounded by lots of big money. But Colin Allred has a sea of little people. And I saw him, at first I saw them hit too far away and Ted Cruz would totally win. And um, he, eventually Allred's people got bigger and bigger. So I saw that that C coming closer to Ted Cruz. And I thought it would be close. I don't know if it is even close. I never checked the actual numbers, but eventually I thought, well, maybe he will win. Maybe he will. He didn't. Ted Cruz's money and power actually beat out. So again, corporations, money, taking control over all the democracies. 
that's a real thing that's happening until we change that citizens united or the PAC system that's gonna be super hard to change too by the way but i do feel like that was part of that and i again didn't want to see that now how i imagine us sticking together in this sea of people and this i don't see kamala harris anymore she's obviously not here but this big wall this red inflatable thing with all these different segments in it it reminds me of a castle you know um like in the olden times england or france or wherever and tall castle lots of stories and turrets and things and we are all like a sea of armies down here and we have to to climb those walls we have to break underneath and make it fall down it's in the beginning stages and they're inflatable so i feel like that might be easy <laughs> they're not brick not made of brick or anything but it's in the early stages obviously but that is something that has to be done now my last video i talked about we're all one we're all part of god we're all the oneness that god is pure love we're all the fractions of light you and me trump voters non-trump voters people homeless people people of color whoever people white people any kind of kids adults we're all part of that fraction of light um criminals yeah everybody uh so we're all together in this at this time the salesman the orange uh donnie bubblehead bobblehead he has created a dynamic where yes it's them over us and in the in the past rush limbaugh actually started i feel like rush limbaugh back in the day was the part of that freedom caucus and tea party movement and everything and he started all this propaganda thing and they found out it works republicans are great at planning and making things happen they have a long-term strategy and they don't give up look at roe versus wade they pushed and pushed. they got it through um democrats don't seem to do that very well i think we're a little bit fractured we don't have focused energy on the left. We have people that are very liberal uh, and not so much centered. And then we have people that just want social justice and fiscal responsibility, leaning left. So we have to, as a Democratic Party and Americans, we have to bring all those people together, the people that want crime down and people that want uh, illegal aliens not to hurt people they want migrants who want to work and employers and who want these migrants that are good and legal and they're fine people to help there they want people that are going to have a safe neighborhood and um, health social security pretty much we all have the same goals but they've been labeled so it forces us to divide the labels are what divides us not our humanness, because we're all part of that same fraction of light. So 3D world, Trump has given us labels or given the, the Tea Party movement or the Freedom Cross is giving Democratic labels, leftists and social radicals, murderers, rapists, whatever we are. And, and, we, and they're, they're not mutually exclusive. Just because you're a liberal doesn't mean you want people to murder and rape and come over the border. That makes no sense. But somebody was already convicted. There's a felon who was already convicted of 34 counts of um, criminal fraud. Plus, as a social, uh, you know, the abuse person against, um, gosh, what's her name? C. Jean Carroll, whatever it is. But I wanted to tell you that that was the image that valley i'm going to continue to monitor that and i also wanted to say that i misinterpreted some of that some of it i think i just was hopelessly optimistic so um some people have said tim walls was a bad choice i disagree disagree wholeheartedly i don't think it would have mattered i don't think shapiro would have made it that much difference tim walls i think was as a lovely human and it's i think that was a good choice and um so i'm going to go into trump's energy let's go back to the timeline so when i get into trump's energy in the past i've always seen him not tracking meaning the dementia's um, progressing and 
he's been taking illegal or legal substances to keep him up. Finally, I think the you know the rallies are ending, and he's seventy eight years old, so he's tired, but he's not too off now. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed the other day when they were doing the congratulations. I had him on stage, and he was saying, "Yay, it's me! I won! I won!" with Melania and Baron and whoever was there. Did you notice his? energy was weird and I think it, it looked he almost looked vacant that same idea of somebody with dementia he was there but he wasn't he's not the same person he was years ago he isn't connected he has lots of times where he is connecting but it's he's he's fading so that balloon that Donnie balloon that baby Donnie is it's definitely fading he is going out into the distance physically. So maybe that's what I'm interpreting that now as his his mental state. So if I'm in his energy, I do see, though, logically, I thought all his staff and all the people in the Republican Party are arranging everything and planning. So get him in office and we can create all this other goals that we want and destroy the government and rip it to shreds or whatever and start over and make money in private and public partnerships so all our buddies can make their monies and take their but I see that Trump is here he is still he's delegating but he is still in control he is still paying attention to what they're telling him and he is ready to disagree and he's ready to say no and he's ready to put on a fight for things that he doesn't want for whatever reason in his adult brain but he is definitely not gone he you know how he loves his loyalty it's like but he also has purpose and he also has um goals that he has personally i'm sure they're around money and but he sees what the republicans are thinking about and doing and he if he doesn't like it, he's not going to let them do that. I are, So I have a sense that even though we think all the branches are probably going to be Republican or GOP, it isn't going to be a slam dunk for him and them. There's going to be some conflicts. I sense that he, well, we know that he'll go through a bunch of people. His chief of staff lady, I think... She will. She said she wants to keep the people away from him that are not legitimate, that are going to um, keep him off task or confuse him or somebody like bringing in Giuliani or something. So she's going to keep him on task. So she will. Um, I don't know anything about this lady, but she seems normal. Mm-hmm. But uh, but for Trump, he is. I felt like he was sleeping right now, but I already sense him being mad about something that he doesn't like. So Trump, Musk. Okay, let's look at Elon Musk. How do you? Oh, well, Elon Musk feels like he's like already has his agenda. Trump has his agenda. They kind of are working together, but not. Um, now that this is ended, or this part is this this hurdle is leaped over. Um, Musk has got other agendas. He's got other plans. Trump has got his plans with the Republicans. Musk has already, I think he's going to create some sort of like a list. Um, I want to, you know, I want you to do this and we get to partner this. If you get rid of this, I can put in this. So he's got a list of things he's going to um, give to Trump. Maybe the Republicans too. But they're in a different, they're in a different plane. Like he is, his agenda is different, even though they all, they overlap to a great degree. They're not the same. So I'm going to look at J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance is happy, but he's also by himself, not by himself. His wife is here, kids. But I, I feel like he's not being questioned or incorporated into the new vision. Um, But he is, excuse me, he's not being incorporated in the new vision with Trump. But by himself, he's there's some Republican buddies over here that he's talking to. 
corporate people he's talking to, his donors he's talking to. Those are his people. Those are the people that he is working with. I don't think he and Musk, they're like on oil and water. I don't think they see similar. They might look like they get along, Vance and Musk, but I don't think so. Because I think Vance has an idea about what he's going to be doing as vice president. Musk, he's going to be the pseudo assistant president. <laughs> and he's going to be in the background. And he tries. he's going to look at everything completely different. Maybe it's possible they'll get rid of some, um, what do you call, excess. I know Musk is saying it's going to be a harsh reality when he cleans out some of these departments and government things. And we got to get the the, the uh, debt, in tr which Trump really put it higher. But Musk is going to make some changes, or he wants to make changes. He's going to get Trump and the Republicans to do that. Okay, so the timeline. Let's see. Today is November 10th, 11th is November, or tomorrow. Veterans Day, thank you to all our veterans in your service, in your families, and how they supported you and your service for freedom, your service to give of your life, sometimes injuries and damage and all kinds of terrible, difficult things. And you guys and women are, you know, quietly doing all the right things without much fanfare. Thank you. All right. Um, timeline. November 10th. At the end of the year, I've seen this before. Okay, something happens as we move into December. I see a yellow line. I don't know what that means. It's like a leap. Um, and by the end of the year, it's darker. And I've said this before, but why is it darker? Something happens. Um, some difficult energies. Does it have to do with Trump? Yeah, they're going to announce something then that is not going to be popular. And people aren't going to be happy about it. Uh, I feel the agitation at the beginning of the year is super high. Um, We must stay in a positive state. Doesn't mean we can't be angry about what's happening, but we're going to live in a knowing, the God within us, the God that's us, in a knowing, regardless of what's happening, we are safe, we are okay. Um, and we need to stick together and unite our energies. There's practical things we can do, communicate with our representatives, um, make our make ourselves known, be noisy, um, you don't have to give in to anything that they say we're going to do. We have to fight tooth and nail. We're going to take down that inflatable castle. <laughs> um, yeah. The people that for the last four to seven years who have limited memory that voted for Trump, they still have trauma and they still have a residual energy that has not escaped them. They're just holding on to the world that's not being good to them. So they won't do anything about it. It's the people that didn't vote for Trump and the women. Will there be crime and violence? I think next year, next, there'll be, Changes, so big changes, then people are going to be upset. Will Trump take office? Will Trump take office? People have said he'll be sick. Um, I do think he's vacant, like his dementia is kicking in. I do think, and I know there's astrologers and other readers, intuitives, that say that he won't make it to the inaugural. Well, it's going to be pushed till February or March or something, astrologically. Will you take the oath of office, Donald? 
No, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. No, Donald. And the Hanged Man. Ace of Cups and the Hanged Man. So, something negative will happen. And there's going to be a waiting period. Something where everybody's going to have to change how they look at things. Um, and it's not going to be... I think there's going to be something happening. Will it be? What was that going to be? Is it going to be Jack Smith or something? Because the Supreme Court allowed immunity. Um, no, it's this over here. King of Cups. The Star. King of Cups. That's a water sign. This could be Biden. Ten of Pentacles. The Star and Ten of Pentacles. So there may be something that changes that we can't even imagine. Something completely out of the blue that is will give us a sense of wholeness again. Because I got the Ten of Pentacles and we all know that's about money is this about his money or our happiness oh the fool it's about his money or our happiness it's about something completely different it's a leap of faith, but also taking a big risk, not knowing what's going to come on the other side of it. Um, it's also about innocence and uh, naivete. Uh, and then the Six of Cups going backward, childlike times. There's something that's going to happen that's actually beneficial. These are good cards, in a way. So something beneficial and I don't know if he, is it something with Trump's health? Seven of Wands. Do you see how they're dropping down? I feel like his is down and down. So something with his, his health or something that he's losing strength or the fight. The Knight of Cups. It's an offer. Somebody's, they're going to have to make a new change of some kind of, uh, it'll be a, a completely different thing. What is that? And I don't feel like it. Like if I look and I get my visions, which I'm kind of analyzing to death here, but what is the difference? What is that? But it feels really good. Those cards were good cards. Um, Five of Swords. Were the Republicans? Will there be a Republican? Yeah, the star. There will be, but it'll be different. It'll maybe Vance will get in. Something like that. Something happens to Trump. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Apple Pie, Jack Smith. Oh yeah, so. Six of Cups, going back, nostalgia. So maybe there will be in a sense of oh, relief. Going back to where you feel safe and at home. Justice. So something may happen, maybe that's Judge Mershon or Jack Smith, that they limit him somehow. But I don't know, the Supreme Court. Nine of Cups. The wish card. It won't be settled though because it's a nine of um, swords. So there's going to be some sort of legal or Republican shenanigans that'll create a dynamic where we have a way out or some sort of thing that will change how the inauguration's going to go. Why? Oh, Jack Smith. 
Smith. Justice, can you see the scales? This is six. This is giving and receiving. So there's going to be, and this is, I got the Ten of Swords too, which is sadness and grief. So there is going to be, I think, some sort of motion, maybe, in the courts where he will get sentenced. They'll appeal it because he's president. There won't. I know Jack Smith is taking, is removing or limiting those um, indictments because of the immunity and because he won. He can't indict a sitting president. But he has already been found guilty um, in the state of New York. So it's not the president. He can't pardon himself. Um, but they'll appeal it and appeal it. And I'm sure that'll stay. But it's something else. see a lot of like a shell game in the spring January I feel like there's a shell game happening everybody is like fast 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 things are moving quickly and the fool again and the seven of wands again so something is falling there's going to be something happening where they're having to adjust quickly I didn't get I didn't get a knight of swords or an ace of or an eight of wands but they're going to move fast about something. And I don't know what that is. I do think the inauguration may occur. But January is going to be pretty fast moving. There's going to be a lot of shifts in January. And then I'm, and then we'll adjust. We got the four swords after the battle. We'll recover. <laughs> Three of Wands waiting. So we're all stick together. Things are going to be okay. It's just going to be a lot of back and forth. I'm going to keep checking in. I was, you know, I'm not psychic necessarily. I see visions and stuff. I checked in on Trump's cake. It's still broken. It's still on the floor. Nothing has brought it back together. Um, Vance is actually disappearing. So he doesn't feel like he's together with Trump. He's just filled his duty, fulfilled his duty as the vice president at the, um, you know, the campaign at the moment, I feel like he's back here. Trump is here with all this Republican friends. and Vance is really not part of these conversations. At first I thought in, you know, previously I thought, Oh, they're going to have him take over and push Donnie out. But right now, if that's the case, there's like, there's different groups. There are the Republicans, you know, like Mitch McConnell, Mike Johnson, them, they're all doing something. They're working with Trump. And then we've got Vance, who's separate, working with his donors and everything. And then we got Musk that's doing his own thing, coming up with his strategy that he wants to hand him the list and say, this is what we're going to be doing. And I want you to promote this particular, you know, action, get rid of the agency of this or this or this. And, and then <laughs> RFK Jr., He's sort of sitting there going, ah, rah, rah, rah. Mm. anyway, so that's that. I think this is a long enough video. You guys take care. That's what I'm going to do for now. And um, thanks for sticking with me. I did lose some subscribers, but you know, that's how life goes. I'm okay. I don't, not worried. I'm doing this for the greater good, whatever that looks like. All right, you guys take care.